Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is from trial balance to a single step income statement and balance sheet. So, the focus is we have our trial balance. How do we move from this trial balance to financial statements? And reporting financial information, it is exactly what we will be doing here. The area of accounting that focuses on reporting information to external users is called financial accounting. And the area uh, that focuses on reporting financial information to internal users is called managerial accounting. Usually, financial statements, they are used by external users and it's called financial accounting. And when we finish our uh, financial statements, especially the income statement, we will analyze it because a comparison between two components of financial information is called a financial ratio. And we will be working with one financial ratio, uh, what we call fi ratio analysis, that is the calculation and interpretation of a financial ratio. And reporting an amount of a financial statement as a percentage of another item on the same financial statement is called vertical analysis. Very useful for income statements. So we will be working with a ratio that is this that is also a, a vertical analysis. So let's go to our Excel file. And remember, guys, all our Excel files, they are free, and the link to download it is in our video description, okay? And, guys, subscribe to our channel. Very important. You will be the first one to know when a new video arrives. So, what do we have here? Our worksheet with our trial balance and adjusted trial balance with income statement and balance sheet. So what do we have here? Sales, credit here, and a lot of expenses. So first of all, let's work with these sales on two different sales. Only one, we will not be able to find a total and so on. So let's consider here uh, web pages and uh, main, uh, and web services. So let's consider that we have these two, uh, two revenues here. So 7,945. So let's consider here 3,945. Whoa. 3,945. Oh. Let's work with dollars, dollars as well, and web service, $4,000. So the first column here is for our items. The second column here is for our total, so equal sum of these totals here, 7,945. And now, expenses. Let's copy and paste these expenses here. Let's copy only the values. And now, the numbers here. Equal, debit, this one. And then we copy and paste for the other one. And then here, expenses, and, and also these ones, we move through these ones here. So, a short move from the right when we are talking about the first column, and then when we are not talking about the first column, total expenses equal sum. Four thousand two hundred and fifty-three. Some textbooks they put this number as a negative number. Okay, so 
that is up to you. And net income is total revenue less total expenses. So 3,692 here, 3,692. What if expenses are greater than revenues? For instance, an advertising expense instead of 800, 5,000. Then it will be negative, and instead of net income, we call it net loss. Okay, so we work with negative numbers. On financial statements, we work with negative numbers. Okay? Okay, now we're good. And we have here the percentage of sales that we call that we call it net margin or profit margin. What is it? Net income divided by total revenue. And the asterisk is not here. The asterisk is here. Okay, so when we divide net income by total revenue, we have the net margin or profit margin. What this 46 means? For each 100, 100 total revenue, $100, our net income is 46. We can also work with the total expenses divided by total revenue. It means that our expenses are 53% of our total revenue. And we can do it for any of our Accounts. This equipment rental, that is the largest one, we can also do it. Our equipment rental is 31% of, or almost 31.5% of our total revenue, and so on. Okay, guys? And now, how do we do with balance sheet? Balance sheet is a little bit more complicated here, but we can do that. So balance sheets, they are here. These ones are our assets with these adjusted numbers and the liabilities and stock and owners equity. How do we do that? So first of all, let's go pen and paste the assets accounts and let's move let's move myself here and okay and then here total assets and total assets is the sum of our assets how do we find the numbers cash Worksheet, cash, on debit here, J6, and we copy and paste the remaining ones, 3,702, or sorry, 7,302. Liabilities, two liabilities. And here, total liabilities. And then the sum of our liabilities here. And let's delete this one here. Come on. Come on, Excel. Border. Let's take this border off. Good. And now equal accounts payable here on debit. 520 and to 10, 730. 
and owner's equity. E Oops. Jorge Scarping Capital. Here. And then if we add only the 4,000, and here we have the total liabilities and owner's equity. Oh, come on. Out. Equal 730 plus 4. It will not match. We have a problem. We have a problem because of the drawing. And if we are talking about corporations, we add more accounts here. Small business, we combine in one account only. So, what do we need? We need to find the, the number. Instead of 4,000, how do we find it? So, Jorge Skype in capital, 4,000. Jorge Skype in drawing. And guys, look at here, it is a debit here. So if it is a debit, it is decreasing my owner's equity. So negative 1,120. And if we combine here, it will be worse. It will be much worse here. So what do we need? We need the net income. So owner's equity, they are capital, drawing, and net income. And net income, we have them on net income here. By the way, we need this one. So now, 6,572, that is exactly what we have here. So guys, now they are matching. Now, total assets is matching the total liabilities and owner's equity. So for the let's delete this one here so the capital we must do this so let's board here so oh no bad so we need to do this math here original capital less drawing plus net income or less net loss. And then, remember, remember, total assets must match total liability and stock and owner's equity or stockholder's equity or any other name that you can find it. Okay, guys, that is not so easy. So watch this video how many times you want. So guys, uh, thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave it here. And I will put myself here. Leave it here or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.